sorrows out of sight I'm so sad to be alone Help me make it through the night And I don't want to be alone Help me make it through the night Too early for that stuff, isn't that's it? That's a good one. Oh. That's a great song. I love that song. Actually, yeah. I have my uncle Pete when I first started my first band. Actually, um, my mum's two brothers. I used to go and lift gear with them when I was fourteen, and they started me in the band when I was fifteen. But he used to sing that. It was a big song he used to do, and he used to do. Actually, that's why I like that 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 last song that we did as well. There, um, the, John Prine. John Prine he used to yeah. sing that as well, and that always reminds me of those guys. But I love all that kind of stuff as well. Yeah, well, it's awesome. I loved that type of music. I was read with that music too. Yeah. You know, I was read with all that. Was that where you know you hear that there in the Warri Gatter Festival too in the Valley Shannon? And, you know, you get all that kind of um, yeah. types of music here, especially up around Donegal. It yeah. seems to be more you know into the rock scene and more into blues. You know, you have a different genre. I think. I think. Uh I mean, I played in a rock band for a long time in the north. The boys, there is a lot of people in the rock in the north, but I think in the south in general, bands seem to play more that sort of, they, they, they get away with more of that sort of stuff. You know, it's more acceptable where sometimes in the north, it's more maybe whatever's, whatever's right in the charts right now, they seem to like that a little bit more. For some reason, but being in pop bands from years ago, it seemed to be whatever was the, the current song right now at that time, you had to play. And I know the southern bands do that too, but they do get away with doing like the DC and all that kind of stuff, which is, which is really cool as well, the Zeppelin and, and like stuff like that there. Like even, I know I was talking to Johnny, I did, you were an E there, I was, I was thinking about this song here. I had an idea, like over, whenever lockdown came, I just, I seen this song a lot actually, um, on Facebook and Insta and all these kind of things, and TikTok or whatever. Um, not that I do TikTok or anything, but that's just, <laughs> just let us say that. But yeah, you have to, get, you have to, you have to, you can't beat them, you gotta join them. But um, it, yeah. this um, this song here, and it's one of my favorite movies, I love the chick flicks as well, I love an out bit of Dirty Dancing every now and again, but this here was a, a Solomon Burke song that I liked, and it was, I think it'd be kind of cool. I know Johnny's an awesome player, so he might be able to play something cool over awesome. this one.
Yeah, you can get them no. I can just feel the soul is opening up here <laughs> on a Wednesday afternoon. <laughs> Hi, it's Sean from Roadie TV. Welcome to Life on the Road with uh, Johnny Gallagher and Johnny Brady. Uh, today we're in Ballyshannon, uh, County Donegal. The sun is shining. I can't even see the screen here. Is that shining? But uh, we can't complain because we never get this kind of weather, especially for a festival, uh, especially for the Roy Gallagher Festival, which is it's an amazing festival. If you haven't been down, get down because there's just so much music on the streets, uh, in the bars and all around. Uh, we're going to check some of these sites here and see uh, what we can find. Uh, we'll be joining Johnny Gallagher now uh, when he performs here. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, doing the Thursday statue show, it's called, uh, the Monument Gig, and that starts about 2, 2 o'clock, usually it's an early gig for me, and tomorrow night down there's a bit of a pub uh, gig down at Home Rose Pub, uh, it's the birthplace of Roy Gallagher, and then on Sunday night we play in the Big Top on the closing night with uh, Roy Gallagher's band, uh, Band of Friends. And a great girl, great singer, a great guitar player, a great band is Gronya Duffy. She's on the show with us as well, you know, Monaghan girl. So, and there's some great acts coming to the Roy Festival this year. So. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's brilliant. I love it. You know, um, of the music just out in the street, or you walk in any wee bar, there's always music and it's yeah. all packed. You know, and they travel from all around the world to, to come to Ballyshannon, it's unreal. Mm. You know, I, I, I would love to get there, I would, must get there myself at some point. It's a festival I've never been to, but it's so amazing here sitting, listening to Johnny talking there about um, just what he was saying about the touring thing. And I can so relate to that. It just made me feel exactly the way I felt whenever, you know, you were, you stayed at home yeah. all the time. It just, it's unnatural to you. Yeah. Because I'm sure Johnny was like me, just being in a band for me was, I was fifth year at school, got into my first band and I've been in a band my whole life and I didn't know what else really to do with myself. Mm. But um, to get everybody back out playing again, and see Johnny going to play these great festivals, you know, it sounds like a, it, it, People, it is. It's. It's. Suppose you're living the dream, really, because you really love being with your musical family. Ah, you know, yeah. you've got your family there. But then, you know, even me coming here today, you know, I, I could be in. I could be inducted into Johnny's musical family just by being here. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Just by jamming with him. Uh, you know, it's very easy to be here with this man today because it's just like it's just so natural to the both of us to do what we're doing. We, we've never played together before. No, I've only met Johnny really twice in my lifetime. Yeah, um, yeah and, we, you know, we're, so we're backstage buddies. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's that kind of thing. Yeah. So, but it, it's just just shows you how cool music really and and it's funny like you when you talk about your musical youth, you're talking about growing up into a sort of a pop and rock. Band. Yeah, yeah. You know, my music was all country. <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm a country rocker, and he's a rocker country. You're, you're, uh, a, you're a you're a rocker turned cowboy. Yeah, I, I turned uh, it. And, and I'm a cowboy turned rocker. Uh, that's it. Uh, I know. That's, yeah. it's, I, I do know what I suppose. It, it, and, and all of us, and every musician, every everybody's in the music. Um, you know, everybody's into all these sorts of different genres. And and I, I suppose my parents were big country fans, yeah. and. Um, when I, I suppose I, when I when I left school, I I thought it was kind of cool to be more into indie and, and rock because I thought that that's where, 
maybe all the girls were going to be. Yeah. I didn't realise that even if you go to a country diet. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of hot girls running around in country too, so it's as rock and roll as country gets it. Country music is as rock and roll as any other music in fairness, and it's just and awesome. Maybe even more so. Maybe more so, yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe more so. That's, nice. a, that's another story. Yeah. I see that in your performance when I've seen you. Um, couple of times now and you just come on stage and you just own that stage yeah. you know you get that persona but that's what you have to give to to the fans yeah i suppose i think i just you know watched so many people over the years the, the, the people that i absolutely love you know like i, I was a big bon joey fan you know i love david coverdale and all these type of boys from the rock days but even the likes of keith urban from the more modern country days uh, you know and he's maybe a bit more rock and roll in the country scene but a lot of them guys are all just such great performers and I just I think it's just because I actually enjoy it so much I, I love running around and just having fun and people don't realise I'm actually enjoying it that much yeah, it's, it's just I can't believe I'm actually getting the chance to do it you know so it's, it's pretty cool oh it's brilliant yeah I yeah. love myself you just don't even need me here because I just I just set up the cameras and let you just tear away we do need Sean <laughs> Sean's one of the best Rudy TV forever I love it it's great what he's doing I mean that genuinely oh, thank you very much no, it's great video, Sean yeah yeah, yeah. You're helping us along. Yeah, well, I'll say, like, I, I love music too, uh, but I've never played, or I have no music background whatsoever. Yeah. But, you know, somebody's got to do this side of things. Would you sing in the shower? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 let, let a wee uh, Frank Sinatra fly me to the moon. I did it my way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. yeah no, no, stick with the video. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>
stuck on my E string there. Did you hear that big <laughs> fucking clatter? <laughs> Could have been E string. Could have been. Like you were saying before, that uh, you know I met a handful of times, but the chemistry between these two is electric today. It's unreal to see. You know, chemistry. You just bounce off each other. You know, is this the, the same kind of styles, isn't it? Or the same kind of? I think it's the rubber that's in us. Yeah, that's what it is. I think it's just, I, for me, it's just a pleasure to be here with this man. Just, um, you know, I'm a big fan of what he does and it, it's, this man's playing from the heart and I feel like I always try to do that too. Uh, I think it doesn't matter where I go in the world. If I meet something musical, I can oh, always yeah. jump in and I, I know you can do the same. And it's, uh, even me, I, I'm, you know, I'm a fairly limited guitar player, like, but I, I just love strumming along and being in the band and singing along and just being part of it all, you know, so oh, it's, it's a pleasure to... Uh, to f hang out with this man because I'm a super fan of, of, of Johnny Gallagher. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, likewise, Johnny Brady. Thank you so likewise. much, man. I really appreciate it. It's been uh, awesome. The first time I heard Johnny was up at Philomena Begley's uh, do up in, up in the hall, up in our. Uh, what was the name of the hall? Gary. Uh, I was up in, oh Gary. my goodness, up where she did that. Oh, why can I not think of it? Um, it's not, I was going to say Arbo, but it's not Arbo. Arbo. It's, was it one? No, it no like, it's uh, oh, no, Galbally or somewhere, Galbally it was. Yeah. That was, that was the first time I actually heard Johnny Live was there also, and you did a serious version. Did you do the Chris Christopherson song that night? What was it you did? You come on and did a... I didn't realise Johnny was going to do a country song that night, but he came on and just, he was like flipping, rock, he was rocking with the country. I think I did, awesome. yeah, I had me make it I think you did, yeah. it was that first, it was a great version. And I'd done a song down uh, I think it was, uh, I want to rock and roll. Yeah, it was great. And you know, when I started off this sort of bow diddly thing, I was looking at all these front seats going, <laughs> <laughs> very religious sort of country country you know Philomena folk you, know, you know? took a house down you went down a storm well, funny enough you got two fans from that night my parents are in the audience that night, <laughs> <laughs> and they're talking about this big man big bushy beard dressed in black come on the stage just let it down <laughs> I was looking down there was people blessed so I don't know what you know what the, you could feel the vibe of the band as well whenever you come on you just feel that they were just into what he was doing as well and that always comes across I think you know sometimes as two people just meeting you know just playing together for the first time we both know we love doing it, so we, we, we're with a mutual respect. We, we want to be the best we can be for the whole. And I found out with the band that night when Johnny came on, they just were really with them. And I find sometimes bands do that for me too, sometimes because yeah. I really love being there. Mm -hmm. And the bands are rocking out, oh, Johnny, I'll give us a solo or whatever, you know yeah. what I mean? God knows what way it's going to go, do you know that sort of way? It was brilliant, and I have to say, you know, you know fantastic band that night. Oh, it was a great band, yeah. great band. Stephen was on the bass that night, yeah, great drummer. And Great fiddle player, great guitar, everything, the whole lot, the keyboard player. I'm great to hang out with Philly too, what a legend. Um, you know, I, I, it's, so, it's so funny we're talking about her because I did a trip recently over to do a thing with Derek Ryan over in Spain. And um, the, the, how rock and roll Philly is, I was doing a gig, finishing the gig in the Moy. I, 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 I think I was getting away at like two o'clock in the morning. And she comes over and meets me at the Moy, jumps into the van, heads that two of us head down to the airport, all nighter, no sleep. Yeah. Over to do the gig, like not the bother, no. and her just like rock and roll. And I, I, I actually said, Are you sure you want to hang out with she's Johnny? I've been in bands my whole life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, there you go. And that's I was that's... just like, She's just, I'm just yeah. one of the lads, and yeah. she is one of the lads. It was great, so but that was great to do that for her. And yeah. just then, as I say, uh, uh, being a fan of Johnny at that point, but actually getting to meet him was the first time I actually met him. Then yeah, mm -hmm. you come on the stage that night, and I like when I, I saw you coming on the stage. <laughs> In the green room at the back of the stage was a sort of a television screen, so you could actually, when we're, everyone was backstage, you could actually watch what was going on, which was brilliant. And uh, Johnny went on, and I, I loved the way you just... It wasn't your bog-standard country no, no. Uh, show you put on, you just come out and you lifted it up, and you were grindy and you were raw. <laughs> 
No, but you were like you, no, you, it was you great. Were, it was no. it was it was great yeah. fun, and uh, I think sometimes, as I said before, like it's like yeah. you know here here today, like you know you can get everybody feels that atmosphere um, just by being so positive about everything, yeah. about, about, about positive about being in, like in the band or whatever. And I think that's where I get the energy from the people, from ourselves. It's all there, you know. The music's there, you know. So it's great, and I just love doing any type of gig really and I, I think over all the years with being in so many different bands and different genres it's been a great learning experience for me and even doing this thing today here like Rory TV it's it's great to just hang out and just get a chance to play some of our own original songs which is awesome um, oh, yeah, absolutely. to play some cool covers that we grew up listening to as well that slow song the slow love song you actually played yeah you and me you with the, wee, yeah. the D thing in yeah there. yeah that's I, I think Man, that's an incredible song. Do you know what? That means a lot to me because it really does. Because, like, you know, first and foremost, my beloved my passion is being a songwriter and mm -hmm. doing that sort of thing. Um, and, you know, it's only really getting, at this stage in my life, I'm getting to do a lot more of that now. Um, I think I've worked a lot, really hard over the years to try and, you know, build up some sort of a... I'm lucky to have a great band as well mm -hmm. with me. And I know you've got a great... You know, to have musicians around you that want to be there is amazing. So now I've got this chance to... You know, sort of do some of my own stuff, and I'm really getting stuck into recording now. Yeah. And, um, I do it nearly. I'm in the studio most weeks now, sort of working on stuff. So it's really cool. Yeah, probably, yeah. I see him. See him as almost uh, a very similar uh, schedule. We'll have, to do, we'll have to do one, man. We'll have to try We're gonna do one. We got yeah. it on. We got it on camera. Okay, okay. Yeah, we've got the two Johnnies together now. Yeah. So that's so that's good. It's Johnnies. Just bring out yeah. the two Johnnies. <laughs> the two Johnnies. <laughs> Johnny G, Johnny B. Johnny, yeah. Alphabetical. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because you just you have a big long career, like uh, you've been both in, in the country and the in the rock. Oh yeah. But the you know you can always be tight cast into that genre, but which isn't use like you just love your music. You your yeah, I just passion. love music. It's not really a. I suppose I mean I had a very a very cool conversation one time with Declan Nerney. Would you believe it? We mm. we we were doing a TV show one time and I think it was Operator Daniel or whatever, and everybody was staying, and whatever happened, Declan's car was stuck in the car park. He couldn't get it out of the <laughs> car park. Uh, the place was closed. He, he says, I says, look, I can give you a lift to the hotel. And so Declan gets away and I was just dodging over to the, the hotel in the van, we're chatting away, and he says, you know, you see, you think, he says, see, you think, you think, Johnny, that I'm not a rock and roller? And he says, I am a rock and roller. And I turn around, he says, I would, you think I'm not a country guy, but I am a country guy. <laughs> 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 I mean, I've had a great laugh about it. The two of us, just like we're sitting here, you know, as Johnny said, like, you started out doing the country thing and then yeah, and then you become more sort of bluesy, rocky. And then yeah. I, I started out being more rocky, poppy. Um, and that was just to get girls, guys, trust me. Uh, and then I and I, I went, I turned cowboy, as you say. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Cowboy. rock and roll cowboy. So I went Clint Eastwood on myself, yeah. but um, no, it was great. And they're all they're all great great music. It's just all great. Do you own a horse? Uh, not yet, not yet though. Maybe we we'll have to get my ranch first. If I get a, ever get a ranch, I'll, I'll get a horse. I have a horse. <laughs> have you? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What do you call it? Tommy. Tommy. Yeah. Tommy the horse. Tommy the horse. <laughs> <laughs> There's a song there, guys. Yeah. Uh, Johnny, uh, I loved to spend the afternoon with you. Uh, it's mutual, man. We all perfect mean that. idea, and I really love what you do. I really love your voice. And lovely sound of your guitar, and you play it so well, you know. So Thank you. It's my pleasure now to be with you and today. And likewise for me, it's been you know one of my favorite things I've done hanging out with this man because I just I love people that are like this man. You know, he's just he's he just he's just himself all the time, and I think it's it's special to hang out with man. I really mean that. And I hope I we'll do something again. Hope yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, on that note, um, it's great to have you here today, myself. Um, I'm, I've been following these guys for. A number of years, and I just know there you have so much to give. Uh, you never get the chance for a platform to, to show off your yeah. originals. Yeah. So I was glad to hear that there today, and, and thank you for coming. And this is what what you're doing right here. This is fantastic, you know, bringing us guys together. And I like you know the other folk that you brought together, but you know it's a massive help to the industry that we're in. And fair play to you. Oh, you. And you have beautiful equipment, and you're putting a lot into it. And, yeah, like yeah. I, I just my passion for music. You know, I always wanted to 
to make a music show and you know you have to start from somewhere oh yeah, good man yeah thanks a million like sean it. thanks to Brady tv like i said it's been great to hang out with johnny gallagher today i'm johnny brady also just in case anybody doesn't know and this is Super talented Johnny Gallagher right here. Super We've been, talented Johnny We are Brady just right here so cool to hang out with Brody TV. Thanks for having us, guys. You are awesome. Thank Randallstown. 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 Sit the Asian there a little there. God bless you. Bondor. Bondor, right. yeah. Bondi. Bondor. Right. <laughs> I'll just say it in the black there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just keep talking. <laughs> Dave, Dave Boards. Candy Floss. Yeah, you got enough. That's it. Woo! Slot machine.